China's biggest city, Shanghai, remains eerily empty. That's 26 million people restricted. That's China's financial capital ground to a halt. That's millions struggling to get food and medicine. Residents will have to stay in their homes until COVID-19 has been completely eradicated from the city. Hello everyone. It is April the 22nd and I am in Shanghai, China. This is the first time I have left my apartment since the 1st of April. I've been in lockdown for 22 days now. Yeah, it's the 23rd today, yeah. Been in lockdown for 23 days even. And uh, yeah, this is the first time I've left the compound to go outside. So the reason why I've left is I need to go to the hospital because my eczema is killing me. <laughs> but yeah, here is what the streets of Shanghai look like during lockdown this is so eerie i've never heard it so quiet it's one of the busiest intersections in shanghai well. So it's this way, it's about a 15 minute walk. I'm going to see if I can find a bike, but I doubt it. I mean, yeah, this is bizarre. <laughs> As you can see, I can't even walk on the pavement. It blocks off. I have to stay on the roads. Um, these are normally thriving, these areas. I don't think they are at the moment. <laughs> Someone's rat test. Just discarded on the floor. <laughs> Definitely not going to be touching that. I've decided against cycling. This is my one time out potentially for a very long time so I'm gonna make the most of it and just walk. <laughs> I hope it doesn't start raining though. It's been a rainy, rainy weather the past couple of days. But yeah, look at this. Absolutely barren. So bizarre to see. Big shout out to all the volunteers in the city. They've been brilliant. So originally Shanghai was meant to be in lockdown on the west side at least from the 1st of April to the 5th of April. So there we were, 1st of April, sat inside like uh, five days is all right. We got enough food for a week. The 5th quickly rolled by. And what else rolled by was the fact that we were staying indoors <laughs> indefinitely. That's in the government's words, not mine. So we have not been given a day when uh, the city will be released, uh, but many communities have achieved the zero COVID goal. So that means uh, in their compounds, there aren't any cases anymore. So there's no risk for them to be infected. But in my compound, for example, um, there's about 20 buildings and every two or three days, there's one new case in, in one of the buildings. Because of this, it means that we can't be released until 14 days after the last case. So we keep getting 14 days reset and added back on. So originally we thought, oh, okay, we'll be out by April the 18th because our last case was on April the 4th. Next day, okay, now we'll be out on April the 19th because our last case was on the 5th. Then 6th, then 7th, then 8th, new case, new case, new case. And now currently we will, the earliest we will be released is May the 5th. Um, so yeah. Made a fifth. Ugh, made a fifth. I can't even speak. I'm not used to socialising. <laughs> but yeah, it's absolutely crazy. That's the earliest we will, we will be released, but will we actually? Who knows? I don't think so.
The frustrating thing is as well um, is that even though the entire city is in lockdown, the cases have still risen uh, to 25,000 cases a day last week. At the moment today it's um, 23,000. So to get from 23,000 cases a day to zero cases a day is going to be one hell of an effort. And quite frankly, I think we will be here for the long haul. Okay, here we are. My walk's over, the hospital's right here. So as you can see, there still are some cars, some bikes around. These most likely are the key workers delivering uh, goods and things to people. Yeah. Uh, right, I need to find the entrance now to Hua Shan Hospital. Hopefully it's nice and easy. Let's have a look. Alright, there we go. Got my medicines. Very efficient. <laughs> I was quite surprised. Yeah, well, a, a woman from a worker um, helped me. She came out and then walked me to the pharmacy and then uh, helped me get the medicine. So, again, the people of the city are doing the most they can. They're incredible people of Shanghai. One of the busiest streets in the whole of Shanghai. <laughs> I can do that on it. Right, so during our time in lockdown, we've received uh, government packages. So our expenditure on food has been zero. Big fat zero. Because we received from the government vegetables, oil, rice. We've even received soap. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> yeah, soap, baby wipes, uh, washing up liquid, uh, disinfectant spray. And they keep delivering as well the rapid antigen tests. So the test at home COVID uh, kits which we've had to see lots of. But yeah, um, I think my community has been receiving a lot more food and vegetables and other things compared to others. Because we get a delivery every two two days or so of food. Um, but I've, I've, I know people who are getting one delivery a week, or maybe not even that. So if you've got an entire family, you've got to source your food from elsewhere. And as you can see, <laughs> There is absolutely nothing open. You can't deliver anything by yourself. Uh, you have to, if you do order a delivery, you have to get these big group bulk buys. So you need like 30 people at least in your compound to chip in to buy a massive order. If you're in a small compound, you've got no hope. <laughs> Some of the doggos are still out. Great to see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think you get the gist. The streets are empty. The only people that are out are the lucky ones and the drivers. Oh, even family mart. <laughs> Look at this. Well, I can see some Jägermeister. Oh. Could do with a shot of that. <laughs> That'll make the days go quicker. <sighs> One thing I also can't avoid to talk about is the quarantine camps. If you haven't seen them already, look them up. Poor people. I hope whoever's in there gets in and out as soon as possible. Many tents around the city. A lot of these are the delivery workers. They, they don't want to go back to their compound and get stuck in. So they're, they're just camping out on the streets so they can continue doing their job and earning some money. And who can blame them? This town's feeling like a ghost town. Shanghai has been closed down. This city.
city Feeling like a ghost town <laughs> Nobody plays no more Unless you're a key worker 